I guess it's time to do the season review. Now our season is over. Go say, go say, go! Hi guys and welcome to the video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in some front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the content. And if you hit that notification button, it'll let you know when video goes live. If you want to donate to the channel, there's the super fan button are uh, in the tab uh, if you want to see that. Also, Talking Wednesday podcast is out every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Deck got it out really late on the Tuesday because we recorded, recorded it and got it all done. Cat's off to been absolutely crushing it with how he edits it. And he just keeps, it basically, Deck to hold the podcast every he edits it. He does it. I come on and say my piece. He's absolutely smashing it. Um, and to it continue we love doing it and we'll keep going during the summer as well so talking wednesday if you can leave us reviews on some of the uh podcast services that would be much appreciated so this season review then i'm going to be using the bbc website to do it because they can show what the table was around there and we can see whereabouts in games we messed up because let's be honest we had a really good start in August and then it all started to drop off a little bit and we'll see our cup games as well see where we got and talk about things like that but I also kind of want to kind of pitch in that you gotta remember at the start of the season we had 16 new players in and we were building a brand new squad we had a dinner and we had Bailey Peacock Barrow on loan we had Shadipo on loan we we had a lot of players in that were going to make a difference Lee Gregory made a huge contribution this season so did Joe Byers and you're looking at how we built this squad there were lots of positions we needed and some of the loans didn't work out like Shadipo um Joel John Gibson to a point, he played some game but got injured and that's been the course of our season. It was very much a lot of injuries and not enough consistency with our team and if we had the consistency, I think we could have got there but we were having to make uh, positions of players who had never played in certain positions and that was always going to be the issue when it came to it and it's one of those things when you have to do that, it's very difficult to get things right and look at how we can improve things and try and figure things out. So we'll go to the start of August. So we'll have a look in August here. So August, we started with a game versus the Huddersfield Town, 0-0, nil -nil, eventually lost it on penalties. The draw, it was the one where we had, uh, I think it was Patterson went off early doors in that game and we saw Canberra for the first time. But the 2-0 versus Donny was really good. It got us going. I thought Donny were a little bit better on the day, but we managed to get it. And a great Barry Bannon goal in that. Uh, then you've got the Fleetwood game, where Gregory started getting his going boots up to form. And you're thinking, we might actually get something here and start doing stuff. Rotherham, 2-0 their place. Really played some good football. But this game here versus Morecambe, this was the one where it kind of went, we lost to Morecambe. But it was also... We peppered them that entire game. That entire game, we had 13 shots, but only two on target. And this had been the problem most of the season. If you look here, we were second at the end of August with Sunderland on top. And he's thinking, okay, that's, we can do something with this. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can go on and get something out of these next couple of games. So, we had... We go to Plymouth and get absolutely math 3 0. And we played Plymouth a lot this year. Didn't look great. We just do just all over us. And you're thinking, right, what we're gonna do this season. This game here against uh Shrewsbury Town. Finally got uh Berahino off the mark, but then we don't manage to capitalise on it and it's one one and they, we start seeing about the teams who are set up to like the low block, how they can defend well, how things happen. And it's one of those things where you're thinking, we've got to come up with a plan B. It's with town. We all but had the points done. And then Bailey dropped the ball to go kick it out and then it gets the player from behind him nips in. Makes it 1-1 one, one. you're thinking something's not a little bit right here. But then, at the same time, this is where we start seeing a lot of injuries at the back. We're starting to see players drop left, right and centre. So, Wigan, again, this was a really good goal by Patterson as well. 
Uh, but we were starting to see things a bit differently. And the way you've seen Johnson being played as that uh, uh, right wing back kind of thing. And he, he came into it, but if you look, we went from being second, we dropped all the way to, where are we? Ninth. But we were building back up there. But that, with the start of where we started to see the game, where we were really struggling to see how we were playing. And then this whole inconsistency of win a couple, then draw a couple started to happen. So October was the classic one. We lost 2-1 to Oxford at home. And a bit of a blow that one, but we thought, right, we can get through to Great path, Manfield Town in the cup. Really great buy. A 1-0 win at home to Bolton. Things starting to look a little bit better. So we'll we'll go back and have a look at where we were in the table there. Still in ninth place, so we still hadn't picked up enough points there. But here comes the silly draw. So 2-2 two, two here. So 84th minute, they get the equaliser. And you see this a lot in this. Lincoln City, 80th minute. Cheltenham Town, I think it was a 90, 90 plus minute to make it 2-2. Two, two. And you're starting to see the situation here. We were starting to drop points. From the 80th minute, anybody could have gone gone forward and got a goal against us because we could not be consistent to keep a lead to save our lives. And it, this is where it really hampered. We were going up in the table just barely, though, like eighth place when we started really well. And these were the games that were dropping up points left, right, and centre. And at this point, we were having to make players play in different positions. So I think it's a bit where we were struggling with Hutch. Uh, Dunkley had just come back into the team and we're thinking, right, he'll be back. I offer wasn't fit. Windath still wasn't fit. I think uh, Gibson had got a knock at this point as well. And we were having to really juggle a back four. And sometimes there were players who weren't playing the cent who weren't centre back playing there. I think at one point we had uh, Patterson play at the back. So we'll go to November. A 3 0 win to Sunderland at home. Great game. We played some good football. And you're like, right, let's see what we can do. Uh, go back into the league. Plymouth versus Wendy again. 0 0. Took it back to their place. Beat Harrogate Town 4 0. I think so good on that. I'm thinking, right, can we get him going and see what happens? But then it's 1 1 against uh, Gillingham. And we do get back into that ourselves. But then we don't manage to kind of like convert anything. We had 22 shots and nine on target, but only get one goal. And to be fair, I think that if I'm okay, keep had a great one. We go to the FA Cup game, lose 3-0 to uh, Plymouth. Staying the goal line is what we had in the league. Really, they just really dominated. And I think that was a point where Ryan Lowe was getting talked about going to Preston North End. Atkins Stanley at their place. They make it 3-3, and, but we were ahead really early doors in there. But the issue you had in this was that we were letting teams come back into games and not finishing them off or trying to defend well. And it was this really nice thing. You saw Corbin, you were playing some really good football in this game as well. And But we were always like holding on, seeing if we can hold on to it. But look again, 14 shots, 5 on target. Not good enough in that sense. Uh we played MK Dons at home, and this was the big one because this turned around a big hoodoo for us uh, at home. I think it was the first time in since 2019 turning a game around in uh, at home and managing to do something about it because we were really struggling to do that. That was something we needed to get off our backs. And the big one comes up later uh, in this season review. But you see here, Twine, a very good goal again. An excellent player. Uh, if they keep hold of him, that'll be good for them. But if they sell him on, it'll be good business as well. But Winda coming back into the team, 93rd minute. And you look around here, we're back in, we're in the playoff situations here. We're okay, we're in the playoff. We're, we're starting to change a corner here. And things are starting to look a little bit better. And I'm wondering if this is the time where the lad stops looking over their shoulder a little bit at other teams. But then we get a 2 2 versus Wickham. Absolutely doing really well in this game. There was a medical emergency in this one. That's why Shadeep have gone on 45th, 90th minute. Windaf with another goal. But it was just silly little things like giving a stupid free kick, kick away in a really bad position. And 18, 18 shots at 8 on target. We were looking better. But to finish that 2-2 was really a kick in the teeth. 
And at that point, we got out of the playoffs again. And it was this was the kind of thing. We never really got back into that top half, i.e. into the top two, because teams were just blowing us away at that point, at that point in time. We lost 3-0 in the EFL Cup to Hartlepool. We got a 0-0 versus uh, Pompey. We got a 2-0 win versus Crew, And we got battered by uh, Sunderland at home. And that was during the part of it where we had a COVID outbreak and we had a game rearranged. I think it was the Burton game we had rearranged. So at the end of December, we were in eighth place with 37 points. Four goal different, played 23. And they were already, you could tell how good they were when we came to playing them anyway. And that, Stuart, is such a good player. Uh, but we were out of the playoffs at that point. And it's like, that's where we were aiming for because automatic didn't seem like it was going to be a thing. We get to uh, January. And at this point, we'd got uh, Mendes Lang in on a contract we, we were looking at in the summer. He got signed a new deal. And you're looking around this and you're seeing to who we can bring in, see if we can make it a bit defensively more sharper at the back. And we do that. We bring in Harley Dean. Harley Dean comes in at the back and Jordan Story. They make a difference. They make a huge difference at the back. And we look a little bit stronger at the back. But then you get a result like 1-0 versus Shrupi. And it's a cracking goal, if I remember correctly. And 14 shot, 5 on target, but they have 11 and 7 and make all the difference. It shows you, you can have all the ball, but then have nowhere from it. And we were in 8th place at that point. Uh, and this was just as we, we had Lewis Wing in the team at this point. And he does eventually leave and go to uh, Wickham. So we play we play Plymouth and we look a lot better. A lot better around us, looking like we're playing some good football. But this is the thing, at home... We were a very good team. We were top of the pile when it comes to home results this season. Our way results, I think it left us about 7th or 6th with how we did. Really good game. Played some really good football. Let's just remember who's goal with this. So, Mendel Lang, Hutchinson and Windach. Windach was still playing in this, but I think he went off in this game, if I'm correct. It might have been that game he went off. Uh, and then we go into uh, Ipswich game. And I think this is when they're just about to appoint uh, McKenna or they had appointed McKenna. Uh, it's a 1-0 win. Um, end of January, we're looking at it. Um, let's have a look. End of January, we're in eighth place. And we're slowly just build, building up. Building up a thing. You look at who's in this top race here. It pretty much, everybody who was in the players bar us, at this point here. Um, so you look at how we're doing. We actually have a really good little come into that season. And then you get into February. We get a 2-0 versus Morecambe. We get a 2-0 versus... The um, 2-0 versus Burton. It's a 1-0 versus Wickham. We lose 2-0 to Rotherham. Uh, outplayed them, but they look better. Then you look at this Donny Rover game. They get a pen. They make it 1-0. And then this is the interesting thing here. So Patterson, Berahino, Bannon. This was the game that we came back from behind. Like the first time in seven years or something away from home. I think it was 2017 when we played Birmingham. That we came back from behind to win a game. And we did well. We did very well to get back into this. And it was nice to see. And you see some of the t players going. They're thinking, great, this is going good. Bannon's been really on form. But that was like where you start to think, right, we can change this a little bit here. We are doing okay with how we are coming into games. It's a 2-0-1 versus Charlton. February wasn't that bad apart from that Rotherham result, to be fair. And that put us in the playoff spot. And you've seen us go for this now. And we we go into March, knowing that we're in a playoff spot. We get a 5-2 versus Burton. This was a game that we had in hand. But then we lose to Lincoln 3-1. And it's things like that were, were really weird, where we go really well. And then we go and have a game like that, where we'd not have well. It, that inconsistency. Then we had the 6-0 versus Cambridge in March. Really good football at home. Played some cracking stuff. And this really helped our goal difference. We were starting to bump up that goal difference. Because the 5, the 6, 
the 4 1 here. Uh, 1 1 versus Atkins to Stanley could have done with a better result. This was a game that got called off as well uh, due to a pitch earlier on in the season. But 1 1 could have done a little bit better. This one we really could have done with winning. And it was against a team that was really struggling at the bottom of the league. Uh, they're in the relegation spot. They had a new manager bounce. And of course, we were really struggling. And we do tend to struggle against teams that are like that. Cheltenham Town, 4-1, but we had an early scare in that with, uh, I believe it was Blair, uh, may even, going early door, but then we're looking, we're looking a bit okay, we're starting to see games out, we're still in that playoff spot, 22 goal difference, which really helped with that 6-0 versus uh, Cambridge. We go to April, we get a 2-1 versus AFC Wimbledon, a 1-1 versus Bolton, where we just didn't hold on at all. We really could have done with holding on. We get that 1-0. We're probably in a different position in the table for this season. That game is one where I think we hold on to that game and you're thinking, we got this. The NK Donk game where we have Barry Bannon with that goal of the season. We beat Crew. This game here was a nightmare because we could have done with a win and they just managed to just play that low block. We attacked, attacked, attacked. They had that one chance and then they just shut up shop. Yes, Wickham are anti-football. They are very, um, it, that style of football, it's slowing the game down. It's taking a long time on throwing. We did, we did it at Sunderland in the uh, first, first leg game this season. But yeah, then you've got this one where we were kind of were lucky in this one because I thought we were going to have an issue in this game because they go 2-1 up early doors and you're thinking, oh God, we're going to lose this, aren't you? And they needed this to win to ideally keep it from going to the last game of the season because this was a, another rearranged re game. And Gregory gets his hat-trick and puts us in a really good play first of Portsmouth. Portsmouth last day, game of the season makes it 4-1. Gregory, Berahino, Story, Byers. And that that puts us in fourth place for the season on 85 points. So you're thinking of the Bolton game. You're thinking of the Cheltenham game. You're thinking of these games where we could have hold on a little bit better to get results. And you go into May, into the playoffs. Sunderland get a 1-0 one, one lead at home in the first leg. And to be fair, it was an unlucky by Hutch. Hutch really should have hit it into Rose Ed, but doesn't and really messes it up and costs us that one really and then on the away leg uh we go one nil up it's a great goal by um Gregory full half but then they get it on the 90 I think it was 93rd minute Patrick Roberts again uh Clark had a great game and that's them through to the playoffs and then that what causes us to have this situation that we're in now where we're not in the playoffs but I just want to go back to October time it was the Cheltenham game that I think cost us the Lincoln game the Cambridge game the uh Wimbledon game the games here in October uh the Wickham 2-2 game um, it's games like that where we really should have saw it out and never did Portsmouth we could have done with doing better uh, the Sunderland game didn't help but it was games like that that really saw us struggle and we really struggled to get anything from those games where we in theory should be doing better and it, with the squad we got we should have been a lot in, in the automatic but the, that lack of concentration from the 80th minute at times and not holding on to our heads and just seeing what happened the injury hit season we had at the back which was really hard to do and it was hard to get a grasp as, with how that injuries really did not help us at the back and then we lost Lee Gregory for a bit of the season as well uh, with Windap being out of well you lost all your goals up top we did have to diff I think it was 21 different goals or something like that and a lot came from Byers and Bannon which was great to see but you had that situation if we hadn't have had the issues that we had at the back might have had a better thing and holding on to games we know where we need to improve in the summer it's defensively it's attacking and put and bring the age of the squad down a lot because it's a very old, old aging squad but we need to sort out defenders a keeper and probably another attacker or two and i think we should be okay but also a sense uh a central defensive midfielder if we don't keep luongo but to get to 84 t points is a cracking season let's be fair not what a lot of fans wanted. They wanted automatic, but you're going to leave one. And with the points we got and with the, what we had at the back, yeah, we should be looking at automatic. It didn't happen. We go again next season. Hopefully we can get that next season. Well, not hopefully. We have to get that next season, but next season's going to be a harder well with Barnsley, Peterborough and Derby all coming down. But let's see what happens. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know if you liked it and I will see you in the next one.